All right, here we go. It's the 2023 Euro Nymph Rod Buyer's Guide at Reds. Uh, got a variety of models of rods here just laid out on the table by the river. I have fished every single one of these and I'm just gonna kind of ramble through uh, some of the pros uh, and cons and just kind of characteristics and some of the attitudes that the different rods have so you can make a good buying decision. So before I jump into just talking about each individual model, if you're if you're not following our channel, jump over to our channel and you can you can scroll back through it or search within our channel. Most of these rods, I have an individual on the water fishing review of them somewhere in that channel. So if you haven't seen that, go do it if you want more nitty gritty about one of the individual models. Some of them I've reviewed in the past because they're not new rods to us. The other thing I'll say is. We carry all of these rods in our shop. There's not a bad rod in the bunch here. They're just different uh, depending on what you're after, what your budget is. There's a different rod for everybody. We like these rods. We chose to buy them and stock them in our store. So that's why they do all get a positive endorsement uh, here at Reds. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. Um, I'm gonna start with a couple of the newer ones so that if you've already heard or seen reviews about some of the older models, We'll start with the, the newest rod to me, and then we'll kind of work, I guess, randomly uh, from that point backwards. And there will be a link in the video description to every one of these rods. So while you're listening or watching, if you want to scroll down and see the individual uh, rods, I'll, I'll also put the links in order. Without further ado, let's jump in uh, to the newest rod to me, and that's going to be the Beulah G2 Platinum. This is my specific rod or my personal rod here. I think it's the prettiest rod in the entire bunch. It's a little bit flashier. Very high grade components in cork. Uh, very nice uh, finish to the, the G2 here. So uh, what makes this rod unique and different? One, it's got a very nice finish. It's not just blacked out with plain Jane reel seats and components like most of them. Uh, this is kind of that upper middle class rod. Uh, retails, I believe at 595. I hesitate to quote things because sometimes prices change or go up. Um, but it is a very nice rod. The difference here is this rod is much faster. It's extremely light, but it's got a much faster and more powerful tip than any of the other rods on this table. So what does that mean? What happens is if you're fishing little tiny pertagons, you do lose a little bit of that fine sensitivity, but you gain a tremendous amount of versatility. So with the Beulah, I can take and I can throw crayfish and big stonefly nymphs and jig streamers, and that tip is fast and responsive enough to keep that fly moving across the bottom and fishing, and then when I do get a grab on a heavier gauge hook. So if you're a western angler, you're fishing a lot of stonefly nymphs, or you're a midwest or eastern angler, and you fish jig streamers or nymphs that have heavy wire hooks, this fly will actually, or this rod will actually finish the hook set and give you great penetration. So it's a, that's a big difference from some of the lighter, softer, more sensitive rods I have. One, they won't move heavy flies across the bottom. Two, I miss a ton of strikes on heavy wire hooks. This rod actually throws a streamer very well. It's a 10 foot, eight inch, three weight. They only make one. There is no options in the, the Beulah Platinum Series Euro Nymph Rods. It's just one rod to rule them all in that family. So there's not a lot of choices to make there. But with this three weight, I can throw streamers. I can throw an indicator. I can feed line. The tip is not too wonky and it recovers quickly. So when I do things like feed line, my rod doesn't sit there and vibrate uh, in hand you do lose a little bit of fine sensitivity for those little itty bitty tiny nymphs that some of you may be throwing. So if that's exclusively what you do, you could probably move elsewhere. Uh, it comes with, uh, I don't have the tube up on the table, but the Beulah comes with a nice rod sock, but it does come with a quarter of tube. So if you want one of the fancy uh, rod tubes that's aluminum, you're gonna have to move on uh, to a different model. So that's the Beulah G2 uh, Platinum 10 foot, eight inch, three weight. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna talk about these two rods side by side because there's a, a constant comparison uh, between uh, the two rods, the Thomas and Thomas Contact Two and the Sage ESN. 
Love them both. I should. They were basically a thousand dollar rod, so they better be good, right? Um, but there's a big different, a couple of big differences. Um, the contact twos are going to have a fighting butt, uh, which is, I, I, overall, I personally prefer a fighting butt. Not every rod I have has a fighting butt, but the TNT has a fighting butt. So if that's important to you, uh, that's great. The TNT, this is the 10 foot nine inch two weight. This is the one I fish personally most of the time, and this is right out of the tube uh, Sage ESN 3106. So a couple of differences. Um, the Sage 3106 does not have a guide placed uh, on the lower section. So you will get a little bit more of that line sag there. If you're really picky about that, that's gonna be a difference maker. Uh, the next thing is the TNT uh, does have a different, uh, more of this uh, cigar style grip right here. Um, if you move your hand up and down the grip a lot, you may find that more comfortable. The Sage has incredible sensitivity. It's extremely light, Kinetic HD technology, um, a close rival to the Thomas & Thomas Contact too. So if you're a loyal fan of one rod brand or the other, buy with confidence. Either one is gonna be a fabulous choice. If you're, open to, if you're open to different brands and you're really looking for that best choice, a couple of those differences I just pointed out uh, might make a difference. The finish on the TNT is one thing that you should know about. They leave that, that when they unwrap that, let's just say it's cellophane for lack of a better term. And when they unwrap that, there are ridges that are unpolished that are left on the TNT. So there's kind of a ribbing uh, that runs along that versus the Sage has that nice slick polish, polished finish. Both great choices. Check out the link in the video description for different rod weights and configurations and lengths and things. Um, I didn't touch on rod length earlier, uh, but that may be a limiting factor in some of these models. Most folks fishing creeks and really small streams prefer 10 foot rods. They're a little bit fishier and more accurate when you're on a small creek. Anything like a river that you see behind me, we really should start at like 10 and a half feet and maybe be thinking 11 or even in like the TNT contact, they make an 11 2 three way. So bigger water, bigger rods, you gain more reach, a little bit longer drift capability as far as your presentation, but it does lack a little bit of that fine fishiness for hook setting and casting accuracy at close range. The 10 footers are, are gonna rule there. But that's just a little price compare, or a little bit of a comparison between the Contact 2 uh, and the Sage. Check out links uh, just to see all the different variations of rod length and weight available uh, in two models here at Reds. All right, we're gonna continue the theme of just kind of comparing rods in the same price range uh, between the two. And I've, here, here I've got the Reddington Strike and the Echo Shadow 2. Both fine choices, fine rods. I fish them a lot. And here's what I have to, to kind of share with you. The Strike is gonna have um, a longer grip, um, even in, even this is a three weight 11 footer, but even the other models of Strikes have a really long grip so that you can move your hand up and down to achieve a really good tilt or balance in the, the presentation. Uh, the Shadow 2 uh, is, is gonna be a little bit more sensitive on average, a little bit lighter tip. The Strike is gonna feel a little bit heavier in hand. It definitely is a little bit heavier rod, but you make up for that in uh, just durability and trustworthiness. The Strike really is a, I don't want you to go beating your rod up, but it really makes up for it in durability. Um, so there's, it's kind of an even push or shove there. The Strike's gonna have a little fighting butt right in here, um, and it's got kind of the skeletoned out real seat on the Strike, and uh, the fighting butt, a lot of folks like it. It's kind of nice to have. But on the Shadow 2, you get this really badass looking stonefly uh, image on there. So that, that looks cool. They're both fine rods in the $300 price category. Take a look at the different lengths and weights that are available into that may impact your decision a little bit. Um, if you're on big water, the 11 foot three weight strike is a really, really good choice. It moves stonefly nymphs, it casts bigger flies. You could even throw a little sink tip and a streamer on the strike. Speaking of which, I didn't mention that, but I'm gonna jump back to Beulah real quick. That is one difference about that. I've actually thrown light sink tips uh, and just straight up streamer fished. Uh, it'll even handle a little skagit line on the Beulah. Um, but the strike like in that 11 foot range, 
you could throw a sink tip overhead with that. Uh, that is one thing about the Strike being a little bit more powerful, a little bit heavier built in that tip that it does have the advantage for versatility, but it does lack a little bit of that fine, fine sensitivity that the Shadow 2 uh, series does have. Uh, both come with just a standard Cordura style rod tube. There's not a lot of difference there. That's what the Shadow 2 comes with. Uh, the Strike, that's just a new Strike. It's in plastic still, just a standard rod tube. The Shadow 2 does come with a sock. The Strike does not. Uh, warranties are very similar between the two. Uh, one slight maybe advantage to the Shadow 2 or maybe it's a disadvantage is we actually do stock and sell spare tips for the Shadow 2. So if you're shopping for a rod, you don't want to have to mess with the warranty. You could probably foresee yourself breaking a tip at some point. The Shadow 2, you can actually purchase a spare tip in advance, which is pretty darn cool in my opinion. Um, and you pay hardly over warranty for it. Uh, I think we, we mark them up just a tiny bit to cover our handling and, and flooring of the merchandise. Um, but you, you, you can get that spare tip. As far as guide placement goes, uh, Shadow 2s do have a guide placed on the lower section, eliminates a little bit of sag. Uh, the Strike does not have that, so your first guide is gonna be right out here just above the female ferrule. Both good choices, pros and cons in each one. If you've had success with either brand, stay brand loyal. Nobody's gonna blame you for that, but that's uh, our two uh, competitors in that $300 price range if that is your budget line. So this is uh, the most affordable Euro rod we sell, the Echo Carbon XL. Um, I just think it's kind of cool that they actually put the model name and stuff on the on the, uh, the sock. And it actually does have a pretty nice little finish right here. Um, there's some cool looking wraps and stuff. Um, it's actually a pretty nice looking rod and it has a fighting butt. Uh, pros and cons of this rod. Pro, price point. I believe it's just sub 200 bucks. Pretty solid and we don't see a lot of breakage out of this rod. However, it lacks the fine sensitivity of its, uh, I would just say sibling, the Echo Shadow 2. So for a hundred bucks more, you get the Shadow 2 and you get a more sensitive rod. If you're getting into Euro Nymphing and one, you're not sure you're gonna like it, you trust the indicator. Maybe you wanna take and throw some little streamers, that kind of thing. Carbon XL is a pretty nice fit for that you're gonna lack some of that sensitivity and when you're, you are learning, it is going to take you longer to begin to feel and understand when your fly is in contact with the bottom and when it's not. So you're gonna suffer a little bit on the learning curve end of things. It does have true Euro guide placement uh, with the guide down, just like the Shadow 2. And uh, it actually is a pretty decent looking rod at that price point. Um, it is pretty good looking. Um, I've still got the plastic on the cork here. I've just found it to be far less sensitive than the Shadow 2, so it doesn't go real mainstream. We talk about that, but if you're looking for versatility, a little bit like the Beulah, but lesser priced than the Beulah, the Carbon XL, uh, could probably be a pretty good fit for somebody. All right, so here are two competitors in that similar range. We're asked to compare these quite often. Um, there's a price gap there. I believe the Echo Shadow X is about 470 bucks, and I think the Sense is like 630. Um, but it's a pretty. It just seems like people ask about these all the time. They're looking at the Shadow X and they're considering making the jump. Uh, the Shadow X is Echo's uh, best Euro nymphing rod. Incredibly light, incredibly sensitive, purpose built for Euro nymphing. Both the rods are pretty blacked out and matte in color so that you don't get a lot of rod flash off of there in traditional Euro Nymph fashion. Here's a look at the real seats. Shadow X, it has an adjustable weight system. So uh, I won't get the weights out, but you can actually put weights in there to help yourself balance. Uh, there's a fighting butt right here. So when you set your rod down and things, the fighting butt is pretty nice. Uh, the rings, I will tell you, the rings on the Shadow X come loose a lot. Um, that is one small complaint I have about that. It's a down-locking reel seat, something I haven't talked a lot about, but most of these rods, I think all of them have, uh, except the Carbon XL, have a down-locking reel seat. So the reel is at the very bottom of the rod, which we want. Got a couple of Euro Nymphs on there, so it's pimped out a little bit as far as design goes. The, the rings do come loose a little bit. They made this thing very light, and uh, I think those rings are probably a little bit on the light side, so you'll have to tighten those up couple of times during a day of fishing. 
The sense, no fighting butt, pretty plain, real seat, nothing fancy there, just blacked out. Uh, not ugly, just black, just straight up, uh, dark, uh, like you know, a lot of these rods are, just to be stealthy. As far as guide placement goes, uh, the Echo Shadow X has much lower guide placement down here. The strike is up a little bit, but both are mounted on that first section to help uh, eliminate line seg. As far as grip goes, the Shadow X has a much longer grip, so I can move my grip up and down that rod to adjust balance a little bit. Uh, the sense just, I'm pretty much in a fixed position here. I might be able to get a finger up on there and slide up a little bit, uh, but the Shadow X is gonna have a little bit more versatility uh, as, far as, as far as grip placement goes. Um, and then, as far as alignment and things go, one thing I didn't mention, uh, I didn't mention some of these rods do have alignment, uh, lines and dots, and I'll just show you what I mean because this one does happen to have that. But like the Shadow X, you actually have some alignment lines right there uh, on that. It's kind of nice and actually tells you uh, what rod that is. Uh, the Sense does not have those alignment dots. Um, but in that same price category, although I skipped it, uh, is the Beulah. Beulah doesn't have any alignment dots either. So we'll just, uh, since we're talking about rods in that price category, uh, as far as pure sensitivity, I think that the, the Shadow X has a little bit better sensitivity when it comes to just all out touch and feel. Like the Shadow 2, you have to be careful with this rod. It is highly sensitive, but it is a fine instrument, so be careful. Don't break the tip on this. Nice thing about the Shadow X, if you want to do it, you can purchase a spare tip when you buy the rod, which could help you out of a jam when you're parked fishing in some far away place somewhere and then the spare tips can just be stored right there in the sock we see far less breakage uh, with the sage sense tends to be maybe a little bit higher quality control it's typical of sage very well built rods we just don't see nearly that much breakage so if you want a u.s built rod that's a little bit more reliable you're in that 600 dollars price range the sage sense is kind of the go-to there if you're looking for just all out technical sensitivity and lightweight the shadow x is a very very good choice especially when you couple up with the spare tip it's a pretty cool little combination so and the adjustable weights are really nice if you're trying to repurpose a reel that you already have that might not be heavy enough to balance this rod on my shadow x uh, i throw all the weights in at the bottom end i really like to have that rod just balanced just uh, several degrees up when i first started euro nymphing i didn't care that much now I can really notice the difference in how touchy it is when I've got it balanced right over my finger there. So that concludes our, our 2023 Euro uh, Rod Buyer's Guide. Leave your comments, leave your questions. I will do my best to get back to them. Sometimes it takes me a week or so, but I'd love to have some discussion and questions uh, about these rods. Again, all of them are linked through in the video description, and I will try to do them in order so that you kind of know the order of which I'll discuss each option for you guys. But any rod over 500 bucks at Reds qualifies for a free fly line. So, you know, check it out, hop over to the shop, just add whatever line you wanna pair up with these. At this moment, the Rio Mono Technical Euro Nymph line would be my number one rod of choice. It's the most, or line of choice. It is the most expensive. That one also comes free with the Beulah, the Sense, Sense the Sage ESN, and the TNT as well. You can get any one of those lines free.